So honey, what do you want to do? I'm sorry, it's just that time of the month. Wait, there's no way. It's Skylanders time. Uh, uh, uh. Apologies, I was in the restroom. So what are we going to talk about? Uh, I don't know, the Power Blue Skylanders? But aren't those the controversial- Wait, let him sit here, they're not. On February 29th of 2016, to bring attention for Autism Awareness Month, Activision invited fans to quote, light it up blue with one-of-a-kind toys by having two characters in their vehicles given the new Power Blue variant. In the same day that the announcement was published, and also correlating with the release of Wii 4, Power Blue Splat, Power Blue Splatter Splasher, Power Blue Trigger Happy, and Power Blue Gold Rusher were released, and were even given to some content creators like CoinOp TV and Bookie2988. As far as how they actually work in the game, I will be playing the game this time, Bird's brother will. I did not agree to any of this. I'm not playing j Let's just get this over with. Let's go with this one first. Wow, she's some girl with a paintbrush. This reminds me of a game that released in 2015. Bro, I was thinking like the same thing. That game is terrible. Holy shit. How can she go underwater with that boat? You do know it's just the game, right? Whatever you say, loser. Wow, now I feel like a proud American. He has a big ass truck, is clearly on cocaine, and has the weapons from Fortnite. At the end of the day, there are just variants for characters that already existed. But what if there was meant to be one more for... Imaginators? The character Ember was meant to get a Power Blue variant with, well, Power Blue Ember. But if you don't remember this existing like the other unreleased variants, it's because it was never officially announced. In fact, the only reason we know about her is because Philip, uh, I need to learn how to read, a person who produced a lot of art for the Skylanders series, posted a large batch of renders on ArtStation, with one of them being Power Blue Ember, but didn't really go into detail about any specific render. Even then, images for Trigger Happy and Wham Shell and Imaginators were in here, which just doesn't really make sense. It's possible that some of the images were made for fun, but what does that mean for Power Blue Ember? Was it a joke? Or something that the Skylanders team considered but eventually scrapped? Honestly, who really knows, as this image is the only thing to show that she ever existed. And other than that, that really wait, it. Wait. Wait. What? Do you even know the people they worked with? What are you talking about? Okay, look, here's one of the promotion art. I'm going to move, just don't get scared. Oh no. Disclaimer, don't be mean to people. Autism Speaks is a well-known non-profit organization that claims to help people who have autism, but it's very controversial for having various different problems. First off, the logo. In 2016, it was an image of a puzzle piece with blue and white colors, which, side note, are the same colors for the Power Blue variant. The earliest design for a puzzle piece as a logo was with the National Autistic Society, where the logo shows a young boy in the middle of a puzzle piece. But the puzzle piece is controversial, as others have stated that it makes people with autism feel like they're incomplete or or something's missing. And even then, the creator of the image made it because, at least at the time, autism was seen as a quote, puzzling condition. But even then, the colors are also harmful, as both logos are under the belief that autism only affects boys, which is just factually not true. And even then, it's actually a point of conversation that girls are better at hiding their autism than boys. They did eventually update the logo to have more colors, but the problems don't stop there. They claim to try to find a cure for autism when that's just not possible since it's not an illness, but they'll definitely try to convince you of that, as in their now deleted video named I Am Autism, a voice is speaking in a scary tone to represent autism, as it states that, I work faster than patriotic AIDS, cancer, and diabetes combined. Ah yes, comparing one of the worst illnesses that harmed the person who gets it, hurt families, and still has no cure, to something that makes you think differently. They did eventually remove it and apologize, then updating the apology because, wow, like, how does this even count as an apology? They said sorry once at the beginning and then cry about people re-uploading the video. And to be fair, using old disavowed content to try to get an own on someone is very unfair. But the thing about Autism Speaks is that if you take a look at their back catalog, it's clear that they haven't really learned much. It is worth noting that according to their website, they quote, no longer advocate, support, or discuss searching for a cure. But when this word is associated with your organization for so long, and even then is buried in a bunch of text, it's Difficult to separate the two. Holy shit, is there any more? Okay, well, yeah, you see. Just say yes, you idiot. Well, 
Yeah. Since autism speaks have been around since 2005, they've made lots of videos to bring awareness. But the videos have questionable things, like in the Meet People series. Contrary to what the name implies, you actually don't really get to hear from the person who has autism. Instead, you hear from the family, friends, and it's filmed in a very odd way, where you're observing the person instead of listening to them. And although with some of the videos, we are able to hear from people with autism, with some, they just missed the mark. Then, in the video titled Autism Every Day, as stated by many people in both the comments and content creators, many things are just simply very, very wrong here. Like when the kids are crying, making noise, or misbehaving. The mothers explain how hard it is to take care of a kid with autism and how you should feel bad for them. Then throughout the video, they show very questionable things. I don't want to go into too much detail or show you what exactly they recorded, but one thing to bear in mind is that the video on its YouTube re-upload is around 13 years old. The film is actually older than that and debuted in 2006, meaning that it's likely that most of the kids featured in the video are adults by now. And I think most would be horrified if they find out what exactly was recorded and uploaded to YouTube and also sent to film festivals. But the main thing I want to tackle here is what this mother said on the topic of sending their kid to school. And in short, she stated that she came close to harming her own child who has autism because she didn't want to send her kid to school. Okay, look, um... The name of your child and anything implying any sort of harm towards them should not go in the same sentence. It's one thing to have this go through her head, but the fact that she said this with a smile on her face and the kid right behind her is just screaming bad parenting. Look, there's over 400 videos on the Autumn Speaks channel, and also tons of other issues that the organization has, like how in 2018 very little money was used to support families. But I personally don't want to speak for other people, and there's tons of creators who made content around Autism Speaks, going more into the bad things that they've done. My point is, is Autism Speaks, although on the surface seem like they're trying to help out, they depict them more like some kind of disease. And they seem to treat people with autism like they're broken and they need other people to speak for them. But despite the issues, many companies still support and even work with the organization, like Home Depot and Chuck E. Cheese, and even big entertainment media like the ABC show The Good Doctor and, yes, even Skylanders. But even after all that, there's still one question that remains. When will you stop this Skylanders nonsense? Why have you wasted your time with this shit? Does anyone know where I'm Andre went. I like Skylanders, I like Skylanders, and honestly, I just kind of forgot. But anyways, is that, is Activision at fault here, like, at all? Now, to be clear with everyone, I'm not trying to say Skylanders tried to do anything wrong. Not only were members of the Skylanders team proud to be making figures for Autism Awareness Month, and according to Activision's blog post, they stated that they would be donating money to non-profit autism organizations. But even then, really think about it. Vicarious Visions, Toys for Bob, Activision, or whoever came up with this idea, had to talk with Autism Speaks to confirm the collaboration, create the variant, pick which characters get the color, recolor the renders, add textures in the game, potentially had to make hundreds of thousands of figures, and even then wrote a blog post and gave the figures to YouTubers. And yet, after all that, no one on the team thought maybe we should look into the people that we're working with? At best, this could be considered careless or irresponsible, and at worst, could be malicious. Either way, I'm not trying to tell you what to think. I'm simply here to lay out all the information and let you come up with your own thoughts on the entire story. Well, I quite frankly don't care. I just think the colors look cool. What? But Uncle Brother, they directly worked with an organization that are built on dehumaning people with autism. Oh fuck off you child. You're just a sheep that listens to X. It's called Twitter and you know that. I'm Shut the up, child kid. here. You just I'm 19 years old and direct. Hey Andreas, look, I got the game for you. The Power Blue version of Splat in her vehicle cost more than her normal counterpart, as her figure is around $20 and the boat costing $15. But the opposite is true for Trigger Happy, as his Power Blue variant is actually cheaper than the original version, with him and his vehicle being priced at around $30 each. Overall, the topic is hard to pick a side on. On one hand, Activision just wanted to show their support, and if anything, I don't think they meant any harm. But at the same time, they really should have looked into who they were working with, as even back then, people criticized them for working with Autism Speaks, which although weren't as loud as compared to the support that they got, they probably just didn't want to cause any more controversy, and scrapped any future plans for the variant. In the years since, people have looked back on the Power Blue Skylanders, and even if they liked the colors, are disgusted that they ever worked with the organization. But I want you to have your own opinion, and I would love to know what you think about the topic, as it's no doubt that this is Skylander's controversial collaboration. So you're not going to tell us your opinion? You have to tell us right now. Emmett, they're complaining again. Well, it's not my fault they argue too much. It's all because you never shut up. No, you dude, you always make it my it's fault for some reason. I'm just trying to tell you. They really act like children sometimes. They really do. Die.